I think it was my mother's baking that got me started in the kitchen, waiting for that moment for the beater to lick. And so today I thought I'd like to show you how to make a rhubarb crumble cake. The fascinating thing about rhubarb, in the same plant, you've got poisonous leaves and edible stems. If you buy rhubarb from the shop, keep it in the fridge. And the best way to take the string off is to just go like this. This is a great way to add some extra nutrition into your baking. When the kids were little, I used to grate carrots and pumpkin and things like that into cakes and muffins. It was a way of them eating vegetables without really knowing, and it made the cakes really nice and moist. Start with the butter softened, not melted, and be really sure to measure everything carefully. Unlike other kinds of cooking, baking is pure chemistry. Beat it until it's light and creamy. When the recipe says cream, butter and sugar, there's no cream in there, it's just the method it's referring to. Beat in the eggs, and I like to have them at room temperature because otherwise the mixture can curdle. But if it does, don't worry, the cake will still come out just fine. So I've got my yoghurt here, I need about three quarters of a cup. Pure vanilla, I just use the cap as a measure, it's about a teaspoon. Flour, which I've measured. Baking soda, which can sometimes be lumpy, so just give it a wee crush to make sure you get all the lumps out, otherwise it can taste horrible. Now when you're mixing it, just mix it really gently. If you mix it too hard, it's going to get really tough. This is the moment that every child has been waiting for. There you go, kids. Sprinkle that rhubarb evenly over the top of the cake. Little crumble topping, almonds, flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, and melted butter. So you can put a crumble topping like this over any kind of cake. It just gives a really crunchy, nutty finish. It's going to take about an hour at 180 degrees. You can always tell when a cake's ready because it smells ready. Making a cake is such a simple thing to do and it offers a really lovely sense of celebration. This rhubarb crumble cake is a cinch to make and I'm going to serve it today with some yummy mascarpone and a chilled Gewitz chamina.